Stealth is described as the moving, proceeding, or acting in a covert way. And to achieve complete stealth and complete a mission undetected can be both immersive and very satisfying. Stealth is often thought to be doing something in a slow and methodical way, but speed, aggression, as well as other elements can be just as important depending on the situation. So in these stealth pro tip videos, I'll go through my top tips and explain what I do to achieve pure stealth. And like I've said in other videos, if I can help anyone out at all, then I'll be more than happy. I've been asked about my loadout in the comment section of other videos, so I thought that would be the perfect way in which to start this series. So when it comes to loadout, in my opinion anyway, there is no one perfect loadout for all stealth missions, and I select weapons to equip based on the situation. So my first tip is to think about what tools are most suited to complete the job. If we was to break stealth missions down, they can be in an open environment, close quarters, or they can be a good mixture of both. So if we look at an open area mission, I equip the L115A3 sniper rifle and the ACR assault rifle. The L115 has good damage output, accuracy and range, so it fits the job perfectly. And the ACR offers basically the same, but in regard to assault rifles. In close quarters, I equip the M4A1 and the MP5. Again, this is only my opinion, but I find these two weapons to be the absolute best for close quarters. The M4 has good accuracy, handling and top noise reduction. It also comes with single shot and burst fire modes, which is massively beneficial for stealth, as burst fire gives more control and reduces the risk of stray rounds alerting other guards. The MP5 is a classic within the Special Forces and used by most of them, and its attributes echoes into the game. Its handling and maxed out noise reduction makes it the perfect choice for close quarter missions, and it's what I use every single time. We then have missions that has a mixture of both open and close quarters. Now this is very dependent on the situation and can vary, so this is where I will mix and match my loadout quite a lot. But let's say for example it's an area where enemies are in close proximity to each other, but I also have the opportunity to pick some of them off. I will most probably equip the M4 or MP5 with something like the SRSA1. This rifle is excellent in close quarters, as it offers good accuracy, handling, and has good noise reduction for a sniper rifle. Another situation could be that you would want to snipe guards in towers, then make your way in. So then I would equip the L115 and something like the M4 or MP5. So to summarise, in order to complete missions stealthy and successfully, ensure to choose the right tools before going in. And that's it for this video. Hopefully it helps someone out. I'm working on plenty of other videos, so we'll upload as soon as I can. Any thoughts though, drop a comment down below, drop a like if you're feeling nice, and I'll catch you next time.